All right, so I'm going to play this real quick. It lasts about uh, Ow. two minutes, and it's something that I had prepared at the beginning of this session. I'm going to let you – I'm going to play this for you as a little ding-ding for coming to the session. I appreciate it. And let you stew over it for the next couple of weeks, and I'll play it again uh, when we actually get everyone together for the next session. Okay. Sweet. You'll like I it. Did. All right, so Robin, uh, your character is going to find a letter – uh, wrapped around an unusual, peculiar stone with a strange rune on it. In your pocket, all of a sudden. And this is what the letter reads. Greetings, little bird. I have been following your work for quite some time. Ever since you attempted to rob me and my guard on the street with your tricks. I hope the small purse I allowed you to lift raised your spirits. Because you may be good, but I am better. Your hands may be quick of wit, but you have not the wisdom of whom to rob. By now, I trust you understand the value of delicacy. Your disguises are good, true, but I have seen through them all. Your many faces have nothing compared to the masks that I wear. Noble beggar, street tough, vagabond, red hair, black, brown. You wear many faces and many names, but you cannot hide your true name, your true face, from me. I have made widows, counseled kings, and clawed my, up, my way up from the very depths of the earth. I have observed you begin to make a foothold in my fair city. I see your friends, your enemies, those in the shadows, and those hiding in plain sight. With but a whisper, I could end your very life. Those close to you could wield a dagger in the night, or poison your food, or even feast on your very soul. Should I give the word? Should I allow you to die so easily? <laughs> Fear not, little bird, it pleases me to allow you to live, for now, to grow in more skill and power, before it is time to harvest you, like a carefully curated drop of honeydew. When the time is right, you will be my next chosen conversion. One day soon, perhaps, you will sing your sweet screams for me. You will find the stone this letter is wrapped around inscribed in a powerful room. It will remain on your person, no matter what little tricks you may try. Take care, little Robin, and may you make delicious memories. Cordially, A. So, uh, what did you think? Oh, oh geez. Yeah, Robin's got... reading this out. Obviously. I got some shivers. So I think I've been challenged. <laughs> A uh, challenge, you say? I'm gonna like half my mall. <laughs> yeah, do you want to uh, tell, you Rob, tell them, uh, what your what your spies have been have have informed you about? <laughs> uh, Robin's taking a moment to like go through like his his racking his brain about all of the people he's sh shamelessly robbed in the past, and he's like, I couldn't figure out who specifically this could be. But yeah. uh, w would my character technically no i mean this is like during the downtime period mm -hmm. just, uh the messaging of my pie makers have got come back to me yeah you would you would receive that information before you went to the tower yeah wait yeah, he, yeah. no that's danny oh, that's Hi, yeah, yeah. hello hello that's me. person well, like morinar was straight up just at this point be going okay with the goblin hand and this going on did I like go to the? Did I meet the wrong group in the city? Like, damn did it. I get the hell on accident? <laughs> <laughs> I I look him dead in the eyes and like almost certainly, fellow. This is this is literally you being in the good place right now. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so I, like... I played a really cool. Uh, basically, is is I had Atlas voice a creepy letter. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if I sent you the actual letter he voiced, but um, about like the the potential person. Are you gonna Are you gonna tell everyone about the uh, the, I, I the mysterious about, figure was, you have information about? Yeah, I was about to. Okay. Yeah, regardless, I I can't 
quite rack my brain about who specifically this could be, but given the threats and vague connotations of conversion of stuff, I might coincide with some information my pie makers have been making for me. Um, any of you know of any odd historical implication with a person who converts people into gold as a method of killing them? Would my character know that? No. It's probably I, I, a new thing, but uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think Warren would know anything. If uh, if you have a very high uh, ex like very high proficiency in history, you could potentially roll high enough to uh, understand there's a legend about something like that. Could we attempt to roll now, or we need a proficiency in it? You could attempt to roll. I will attempt <laughs> Robin, with my brand new dice. Robin sure yeah. as shit doesn't know because he's got a plus one history. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Natural know. twenty, bitch. Oh. Wow. Wow. Natural twenty, bitch. I'll send a yeah. picture if you don't believe me. First roll ever with a new dice. That's right. right. Yes, these puppies are so good. This is worth the sixty dollars. It's worth the sixty dollars. Yeah, they, they they are custom resin cast dice, and they nice. are fucking beautiful. Uh, maybe I should pull out my obsidian dice. Damn it. Oh, uh, so the the I don't know if you guys know her on Instagram. I'm putting the second uh die next to it. I rolled one, so instead of the twenty, it <laughs> has her also like rolled um, on that twenty. Oh my god. Uh, her and her and she, she goes by the name Feline Fatal Dice on Instagram, and her yeah she has she get so I got a nine piece and it came with two d twenties one just has the normal twenty on it and the other one has like her insignia as the twenty instead and I I rolled the one with the insignia so yeah I'm sending there's... I'm sending two dice Yo, I, this is yeah. fate telling you you have to tell the story at this point <laughs> yeah I, I'm I'm right. sending two okay. dice I uh, I rolled like the one with the every... guys would you like me to read out uh every, like what I sent you Robin. Uh, I was still gonna. You can tell them like the 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 myth that is coincided with okay. what my pie makers have told me, All right. and then I spell uh, spill the information of what my informants have learned. There is a legend of a terrifying creature, who meet even the gods. Cautious. It is a creature that has the ability to read minds. It has a creature that has the ability to penetrate your thoughts, and it will taste you. And then if it likes what it tastes, it will pick a time and a place to kill you. What it does is it will strike you with a powerful bolt of energy. This energy will paralyze you. It will turn you into gold. Now, you're still alive while this happens, and your, your mouth and your nose will be sealed up, and you will slowly suffocate. When this happens, he will wrench your soul from your body, taking your memories, your skills, and your power, and adding it to his own. And there has been an entity that this has been a legend with who hasn't been active in a very long time. Um, but basically, translating from Old Latin, it was alchemist. Just alchemist, not the alchemist. The alchemist, I should yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. And Robin informs you that there are there have been a number of murders, in, wherein a body made of gold is all that's left, and that there is a a a code name for the killer of the alchemist. It's, uh, uh, and probably has detailed how, uh, actually, has have any of my pie makers collected some of this wealth in some fashion? Yes, like toes. <laughs> yeah, because I wouldn't put it past some of Whispers to, to pull wealth from this circumstance. They had no hand in, its, in the person's death, but there's what means to profit. That's not against their relatively semi-good aligned mindset. Oh, uh, Toshiro's online. Sorry. Did not mean to... Interrupt. You're fine. He popped up online. He's been online. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, he, he's, he's and, been online and just like time. refreshed on my feed. Okay, ignore that then, sorry. You're good. Yeah. I sent him messages and responded to me. I think everybody else, or a few other people did as well, and there was no responses, so something's happening, or, or he's lost complete interest in everything. 
<laughs> one or the other. It'd, it'd be depressing. We don't know. That. Yeah, yeah, I got a nat 22 in history. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at this, with, hold on, but with this description, I'm going to be honest, Morinar's probably going to be looking very, very closely at the chest that Robin has. Uh, and if Robin notices that, he will look at you and just, the chest probably has nothing to do with it right now. This, and Alexandra is going to hold up the goblin hand, kind of precariously fingering one of, well, holding one of the fingers precariously. Yeah, it is it is clear that I have stolen from this guy at some point in time, doing one yes, of my but, gigs. But if you, if you recall, the chest we found with lots of bodies as well, and to technically we did steal from the chest. I imagine if this guy was the one who killed those people they would be made out of gold and we'd be a hell of a lot richer if mm -hmm. a bit confused back then fair point and based off of the phrasing of the entire note being almost entirely dictated at me and my tendency to change uh, faces i imagine it's probably one of my cons at this point uh what okay so alexandros eyes is going to turn black he's going to get his serious emotions back is would he be able to glean the message from robin is there a legible like code or some sort of pattern to the 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 wording and sentencing there might be like some hidden message yes oh can alexandros decode this no okay <laughs> can robin decode this <laughs> no could robin okay could any could more in our decode a, there is an unusual familiar like pattern to it Okay. Okay. Regardless, uh, I might Robin have used will... a real life cipher. I Ooh. figured you would, because I I have two ciphers in my homebrew, because I love doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, Robin will pocket the note and will be taking it with him. Okay. He's also he's keeping the note for um a reference as well in case he tries to do forgeries with it. Would mm -hmm. I be able to, with Alexandros's extensive history, uh, in the in the fields and Arcana, would he be able to look at the stone and glean anything from it? It is a stunning stone. Ascending stone. Okay. Yes, one half of them. Mm. And Robin will also pocket that. Yeah. Well, you have it in your I hand. Imagine. It begins to glow, and in your mind, you you see a phrase: "Another one." Another I, one. Oh no! Oh no! Please tell me. <laughs> Don't know. Do I know? Understand the concept of sending spell? I probably would have had it used to get yes, on me in some fashion. It, it basically, uh, the killer can now send you messages and you can't do anything about yeah. it. Well, I can. I can forego the sending stone. Somebody pulled from the deck of many but things. But I imagine that's not going to be useful. And Robin would be useful to him to have it, messages. It, it's, bound with, it's bound with a curse rune. Huh. <laughs> if you threw it, it would just pop back up in the pocket again. Exactly. But, um... Robin would have understand the the means by which sending works probably through, um, uh, yeah. weasel using it. You would it. have to basically be but, in an uh, empty magic area, and even then, it would arrive. Only well, regardless, the I understand that yeah. the sending spell also allows a response. So, yeah, uh, Robin simply responds, "Challenge accepted." Getting my uh, severity dice out. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I was this like, isn't... he's ruffling for notes or dice? This isn't a cocky. I, I rolled for Yaya expected, accepted. to see how this much she just... cared. She does not. This, is, this isn't a cocky challenge accepted. This is a recognition of like, all right, cool. You're going to let me live and give me a chance to be more powerful. All right, cool. We'll see how this goes. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. But oh, fuck. if he has something big and beefy for me, all right. I rolled 100. White dragon. Holy I rolled 100. shit! You rolled a hundred? I did. What is going oh. on today? <laughs> we got a white dragon coming in, boys. No, I'm kidding. There aren't any numbers lower than the maximum on our dice. That's just how it is. <laughs> Apparently. Oh my fucking god. Twenty, twenty, and and a hundred. We're cursed. We're all all of us in this VC are cursed right now. The stone pulses. It feels cold, and you feel this image of a smile in your head. Keeps in, he, he keeps that image of the smile in his head. <laughs> Little reminder. Does, does Robin show any, like, is there any expression on Robin right now for, for what he's seeing? Like, it, well, any of us have any gist that something is happening? 
Fuck it, roll insight on me, I guess. Okay. I think you will because Alexandros is not good. Ugh, he's not, not bad, he's not 15. good. 15. 15? I wish I got 20. <laughs> there's, a bit of a subtle, there's a bit of a subtle frown. But that's probably all I would think I would fi that like I a, would like feel a, a fifteen would be worth. So, like so a, here, like here's a, my question. Here's my question. Did you say challenge accepted out loud? So that no. we okay. So no, we that didn't was, hear. That was your sending. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. No. Then I, I won't be able to do anything. Now Robin's regretting not having learned sending. <laughs> Send back just a dick. No, not the he. He'd be sending to either Weasel or Spider to try to fucking find them again. But so far, he's got other people looking for them right now. He's stuck with you guys. <laughs> this is before we go up to the tower and shit. It's about to happen. You may share that if you so wish. Okay, that's share. What... Share what? Oh wait, wait, me or, or Robin? Yes. And that is you I get that extra bit because you rolled a twenty. Okay. Share what? Huh? Oh, the uh, the myth? Yes. Um, in my far travels, it seems... The mythos only popped up once or twice, but this alchemist, as he's referred. Not somewhere mere mortals might be able to just traverse. I've only heard bits and pieces in my travels, an extensive adventuring, but I know that this is beyond even my knowledge, possibly into the far realms as well. Some sort of monster or humanoid entity? Because I don't imagine I stole from some beast. The few bits that I've heard, it is a extra-dimensional being. Of unknowable power and unimaginable. And at this point, Robin sort of like leans back a little bit with like some sort of sensor res uh, recognition. Oh. That's an old memory. Uh, and if I'm remembering correctly, this is like one of the, the, the there was a conversation Theo that we had in chat a little while mm -hmm. ago. So it's backstory shit. This is the point where like Robin actually remembers that, because I in real life just remembered that. Seems familiar. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, with this new information, it's extra pertinent that we find Weasel. She'd what know do you more. know? Alexandros is going to kind of like step up and press you. What do you know? Not much. I stole from some strange person a long ass time ago. And then he's going to magical entity. Alexandros is going to put his hand on your shoulder and say, "Pray that he does not come anytime soon." And at uh, that point, his I head's going to just snap back, wide eyes again, like literally just snap back. As... He's like, "Ah, oh, good friend, Robin," patting on your shoulder. Odd one. As far as I can tell, it's, I mean, fuck, I was like eight when I stole from that guy. Right, it's a long character. time ago. Out of character, how old is yours? How old is your character? Uh, Robin is 21, I believe. Okay. 21 or 22. 23. I was wrong. I had it written down, but I was going for it. Young-ish. Young, Young -ish. adult. Got it. Okay, I just want to make sure. It's yeah. basically been at least a decade since I answered. Yeah. It's been, it's been a little bit more than a decade, yeah. Actually, it's been two decades, because 23. So, just about... I don't know, yeah, a decade and a half. Sorry, I know basic math. <laughs> Again, long week. But, uh, no, Robin... Sort of half-thinking and talking aloud to himself, but yet... It was sort of a budding point for... Weasel to pick up more intense okay. magic, so she would know more. But I've got pie makers telling me she's going by a different name and she stopped leaving signs places. So worried about that. Regardless. I think wow. we have some place to go to and <laughs> go on another. <laughs> We're off so. to see the terror, the terrible thing that exists. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of a better rhyme, so you know. We're what off to completely <laughs> fuck a hydra. Fuck a hydra. <laughs> <laughs>
TMX. Listen, listen, leave my Hydra alone. <laughs> Look, the Hydra tried to kill us, and we found a way to make that not happen. Listen, listen, the Hydra was just doing their job. They were just doing their job. You saved a monster that attempted to kill us. Regardless, uh, after the conversation, um, Robin will take like a bead of force from the pack where he's storing them and specifically put it in with the uh, note in the Sending Stone. He's just leaving it there. Okay. Safekeeping, I guess. Probably have some so nefarious plan in mind. Some bullshit plan. I don't know about the same thing. It's a bu last bulletin in the chamber kind of plan. Oh, I love OITB. Or OITC, excuse me. No? Bad joke? Okay, sorry. I don't know what that means, so I have one, no... It's one in the chamber from Call of Duty, because I'm a nerd. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, in Robin's mindset, he's putting that there as a means of preventing th this individual from killing him by doing it himself. <laughs> A sort of spiteful gesture of, you're not going to see me suffer. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just... Moran at this point is kind of looking at this whole thing. He's kind of... He's been sitting there kind of just listening and looking at this whole thing. And... He's looking at the stone and he says, What would happen if that stone was put in a different plane? Probably... Uh, I don't know. And he uh, takes the stone and hands it towards you. You've got the bag of holding. I, I don't have someone does. Holding. Someone has it, not me. I, I have, have a bag of holding, but I don't think okay. I have anything in it. That's fine. We're putting the stone in the bag. See what happens. In my, in my bag of holding? Just to see what happens. Okay. It's fine. Do that. I put the, the stone in the bag of holding. <laughs> Like, does the stone just magically show up by Robin again? <laughs> All right. <sighs> I'm rolling 95. A, did we create a you, portal? What, you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rami, uh, you, you just try to put the stone inside the bag, right? Sorry, I'm turning on my line. Hold on. There you go. Yes. Okay. Um, the bags of mouth turn into the rows of teeth. Oh wait! Oh, Say that again, oh yeah. The your bags of mouth turns into turns into rows of teeth. Oh. Make oh. a strength save. Like, make a strength save. Okay. Uh. What? Oh, that's a five. Oh, All so right. Much well, for the new Rami dice. gets sucked into the fucking bag. Alexandros. Yeah. Uh, uh, can, is there any way that any of us can try to help him not to have that happen to him? Yeah, his feet are hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna I grab can't. He's going to make like... Rrr, 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 sounds. Okay, I'm going to grab if I can, if I'm allowed to. Yep. Yeah. String checks. All right. And I'm going to assume Toshiro would help someone to roll for him. Ooh, not good. 12. I, Robin literally can't. He backs away from it. I rolled so. a 13 for Thog. So it's all up. No to modifiers. Here. All right. Oh, nice. Seriously, another one? Wow. Wow. I am stuck. Apparently. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you gonna use a spell to help out your friend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robin, Robin can try something. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll I, use the mage hand I, to pull on his feet. Mage hand <laughs> ten pounds. pounds. Uh, I have the telekinetic mage hand. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, it's still more, but I can like it has the function where it can um push people. So I will just I'm just trying to yank him out. You can make another strength save, Romy or Alexandros. Okay. It's the same fucking roll. Hello? Robin's I got a five gonna, again. Robin's <laughs> going to try to invert the bag. It was literally the same. I rolled a three both times. Good call. Inverting the bag. <laughs> Good call. 
All right, give me a second while I uh, put up the appropriate meme. <laughs> Check out General. Oh, it dies! <laughs> I love it. I actually want to rewatch that movie. I was thinking about that yesterday. Yeah, it's such like, a good movie. It popped, it popped up my recommended on YouTube, and yeah. I was like, oh. Oh, the movie was okay. But yeah. No, uh, 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 Rodel, Rodel. so oh. you managed oh, to toss him out of the bag. Wow. By, right, by inverting it. Yeah. Oh, by inverting it. Okay. Yeah. Also. Though I'm not sure Robin would entirely. Robin was literally just throwing like, it's an, it's a bag. Flip it inside out. Maybe something will happen. Um, but uh, also anything that would be inside that bag also falls out. I'm pretty well, sure. Well, the only other thing that, fell, that falls out is your stone. So yeah, I know, that's true. But pocket. also, oh, okay, then yeah, there, I'm the only but also, thing. If in there, there was anything in the bag before you got it, that would be stuff that was in the bag. <laughs> Is there anything? No, like, was there anything in the bag before? But we never checked. Yeah, we, we never, never did check. Yeah, I just also, grabbed it and literally of, put it on my hip. With a bag of holding, if you don't know what's inside of it, you have to think about what's inside of it to pull it out. So there's no way to check. But doesn't that disenchant it if you invert it and everything falls out? Uh, no, inverting it, you, it just dumps all of the contents. Oh, well, then, then yeah. Flip I, it back I, in we, the normal we position. Literally, when, we were, when we were down to the Bahir's layer, we didn't check. Yeah, we didn't check. Yeah. We just, I just up, didn't check. We just yeah, I just grabbed it and put it on my hip. This is also me doing it. It's a very slightly metagamey thing of Trying to see checking that in with Thero. A slobbering key falls out. Slobbering key? What kind of key? A slobbering, a slobbering key. A slobbering yeah, key would be a different <laughs> problem. <laughs> it's a gold I, I cast Presentation on it and pick it up. It, it, it doesn't everything. seem to get rid of any of the saliva. Oh, whatever it is, the saliva is important to it. <laughs> Uh, can I do a like a nature check of some sort, or whatever, to see what it? If what are you gonna do? Like taste the saliva and figure out where it comes from? Yeah, like something <laughs> weird like that. I'm a I'm a ranger. <laughs> you t you put it to your lips and you immediately try to vomit. <laughs> it is the oh, most that. foul tasting thing. <gasps> it's like it's like thirty day old milk mixed with rotten eggs and add some manure in there to boot. Oh, <laughs> it tastes like a bad idea. <laughs> That's exactly what it tastes like, Robin. That's exactly fantastic. What it and honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use this like chance because this is so ridiculous. But I'm going to use this chance. Uh, I faint from that <laughs> just because I actually do have to go soon. So I think this is a perfect time to make me faint. <laughs> that is actually pretty perfect. Yep. In any case, you guys recognize a couple of the gems on there. It looks familiar. It looks it looks like a chest you've seen before in the grips of a tall hand. Oh. Is it the goblin hand? No, it was that uh, stone hand. Well, actually, technically, oh. we don't recognize it at all. Because this True. is before any of that happened. True. But now we know. Now it'll be like, as we're at the wizard tower, we'll be like, wait, shit, guys. Remember no, I, that I, key? I had, I had the, like, you got the letter um before you before it but i always thought you would have discussed it when you got to like the the current timeline so i mean robin would have discussed it when he realized he had it but okay so that's why i assume this is sort of like a a, a downtime retrospect kind of thing gotcha okay that ended up being way more re role play than i was expecting for that to be ow i'm playing so bad yeah i'm playing nuclear throne by the way uh no Just problem all right, so uh, that's where I'm going to end the recording. Thank you for listening to the bonus session. You have a wonderful day. You take care of yourself.